Here's just a quick rundown of my Campanotus Pennsylvanicus colony. Uh, it's just a one inch thick oak board that I uh, carved out with a router. As you can see, it's not much bigger than a deck of cards. It's like two and a half inches by three and a half inches. This colony started out wild caught with the queen, who you can see right there. Twelve workers and some brood. I was outside in the backyard and had a log with some peeling bark and peeled it back and found them. Well, they were caught in the spring of this year, it's 2016. It's now August 30th and they are up to about, oh, 50 workers or so. Some majors, that is not a major right there, although it is a rather large ant. They're in there somewhere. Sorry about this terrible, terrible camera. Uh, the green stuff is uh, food coloring that I put in their sugar water so I could uh, watch the uh, transfer of the trophallaxis happen between ants. And their gasters do get greenish when they feed on it. Uh, they're either regurgitating or excreting some of the sugar water. That's why it's kind of green in there. The outworld is an absolute mess right now. But I'm working on it. But yeah, pretty much nothing invested. And I have a very healthy colony. Hydration is just simply some tubes with cotton shoved in the end, caps, pull the cap off, fill it up with water, put the cap on, it pushes a little bit of water through the cotton, thus hydrating the wood, I haven't had a single problem with mold, unfortunately that's where they're choosing to put their garbage right now, the nest is a little large for them, but I uh, hope you liked it, simple little build out of stuff that I had laying around. We'll get to the other ant colonies later. Got lots of Tetramorium, another Campanota species, other queens. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.